Good day, this is Dragonfly Gamer UK and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. Um, we left it last time, I had been off mining, um, I smelted all the ores I had, I put some um, in electronics printer, I put some in auto lathe, I put some um, in the um, pipe bender, and I even think I put a little bit, yeah, <laughs> a very little bit, in the tool maker. Um, in this session I want to print off the growing light, I will get that done this session and wire it in, as well as repair the solar panels again, although the uh, sun tracking ones, and um, encase them in glass. So I think that's all I'll do first, obviously because that's more critical at this point I think, making sure our solar panels don't get damaged anymore. If you remember in the last session we created a load of um, uh, wall kits, iron sheets, and glass, simply for that purpose. Um, I'm going to take some duct tape with me. Uh, no, I just left on that one. Purely to uh, repair the solar panels before I encase them in glass. Now that one we took apart and reassembled so it worked. These, one, these ones we don't really want to do that because then you've got to sort out all the logic again and it becomes a pain in the bum. It's just easier to um, repair these with the tape. I will these, I probably need more tape to finish repairing that one. Yeah, it's not quite done. There's no. It's fairly quick to do this, it, it doesn't take long. This one done. That one done. I'm probably going to need the last of this roll and a bit of the next. Just in time for the sun coming up. There we go. There we go. So now 100% and straight away we're getting power out of them. Like 250 watts. Okay, so yeah, I want in case he's all in glass now. So now I want the iron walls. So I want to put up the iron walls. Uh, I don't want to go on actual start on this side and just work our way along okay and I need to do this end Oops, rotate it there we go and now I need to do this back side I'm just saying I'm picking iron window not iron wall it's actually a window but obviously it's got to be glass there was a wall and no sun would get through it, it was an iron wall. But it's an iron wall frame that we use to make the iron windows with. Okay, done them ones. I'm just going to quickly, before going to do the bits on top, I will install the... Uh, I keep doing that, I don't need the welding torch for the windows. You only need it when you're sealing, sealing the floors. Now one thing I'm not sure about is if I need to seal this frame down here. Um, we'll wait until after the next sandstorm. And if I do, then I'll have to uh, remove the window the glass so I can get in. And uh, repair the solar panels again. And then seal them. Actually, you know what? I might just seal them. I might just seal them. So I'm going to need some more iron frames. But let's just get this bit done first. Come on. Oh, I forgot to make any more glass. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> so I put some silicon in here. I, I mined 52 silicon up in here. We've got glass or build glass sheet. There we go. So I just set that going. And quickly build a few then. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll get down frames while I'm here to do the bottoms. I'm going to need about uh, 18, 19, 18 I think, 11, 12. Okay, let's 
the two line frames over here. Line sheet, sorry. Uh, what did I make with steel? Don't know, let me check. There's steel. You can tell the difference between the steel and the iron. Because the iron is slightly recessed. If I go here, you can see that the iron cross members are all slightly recessed. If you look at the steel ones, they're not, they're smooth. So that's steel, 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 iron, iron, iron. So three iron, three steel. I think I've probably got those sheets. Uh, I might not have enough iron sheets, so I need to make three iron sheets. Sheets, just quick sort my battery out. Um, and steel sheets, have any steel sheets in here? Plastic, no, I've got any steel in here. Where's my steel? Steel's in there. Typical. So let's just make space quickly. cheaper to make things out of steel than this iron. Uh, the, uh, the steel sheets are 0 0.5 a gram, I think they're 1 gra gram of iron. Um, so yeah, it, it steel is certainly the cheaper way to go. Let's make a couple more, for good measure. These I don't need the welder for. So I can't really get into them because I already put the frames in. And I can't go around this side. So that's sealed the three steel frames. And I'll just seal the three iron frames. Now I didn't do these ones but I don't know how well I sealed against the floor there so I would leave it for now. We'll find out. Okay so oh glass probably got millions of sheets of glass now. Did I set the glass going? Oh, I've got enough glass. Oh I did the glass. I stopped. Um, okay, glass. So that one's got a glass frame in it. Sorry, glass sheet in it. You can see the lines. Um, this one needs a glass sheet in it. Yeah, if you like these videos guys please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe I would like to get my viewers up um, if you think I need to change what I'm doing please let me know what you think I need to do um, I would yeah I'd like to get a lot more people watching my videos okay so now I need to do these top so I'll just get back as quickly as long Uh, 
and uh, glass. That's it, we've now sealed all our solar panels. I do these ones, I do these on these. Yep, yep, they're good. So they will no longer be wind damaged. Okay, next step is the growing light inside our greenhouse. Uh, the growing light first, I'll do the growing light. So that need uh, steel again. So yeah, steel does become critical. It's injecting everything. I'm just going to stick this back in here. Don't need that on me. Don't need that on me. Don't need that on me at the moment. Uh, don't. Yes, I don't need that on me. And I need the wiring. I don't need the pipes. Steel can go in there. This can just go straight back in here. Okay, growing light. This takes a few moments to do. Yeah, and I can, as I said before, can connect it to this daylight sensor up here, so it comes on at night along with the lights. And it just saves a bit of power, obviously you don't need the lights on. So we've got quite a bit of power there now, four bars. So the solar panel's repaired, yeah, we're getting enough power now. Okay, don't need any more of those, that's just one of them for the moment. I do need a logic I.O. We've got everything I need for that, yeah. Let's make one of those. There we go. So let's get up on the roof. Uh, yeah, so I want to make the light, uh, install the light along one of these beams so it's uh, not blocking out the sun during the day. So uh, I might have to do it from inside actually. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we're going to go inside and install the light, but then we're going to come back outside to install the IC and rewire it and everything. Okay. While I'm out here, before I go in, see me running in and out repeatedly, let's just take our table kit with us and our microwave, and I will show you what you do with those. So obviously you're grown as food for a reason, you've got to feed yourself. And you can't take the food as it comes you've got to, to process it um, I know there's been a big update to add uh, a lot more food to the game um, I can't be bothered to wait for that um, and I'll be covering that at a later video so let's just open this for now make some space yeah so as you can see, we've got some tomato, we've got one tomato in here, we've got some other vegetables. They are slowly decaying. Um, by planting them, you grow new vegetables, which have a longer shelf life. So to harvest them, you simply left click. Uh, I think you get three tomatoes for each plant. So you plant one, you get three back, so that's yeah, three, you're tripling your uh, crop yield. I think it's the same for potatoes. Yep, so let's just put these in here for now. I want to plant pumpkins and I don't know, maybe it's wheat. Oh, wheat. Um, the mushrooms grow in the dark, so you can't, don't want them in a greenhouse, you want them in a dark house really. And I believe they convert O2 to CO2, where all the other plants convert CO2 to O2 so they're good for you but the mushrooms do it the other way around so um, pumpkin let's just get the pumpkin planted you only have one pumpkin 
unfavorable lighting conditions because I'm going to grow light in there. Um, so nothing's happening because it has no light at the moment. Let's just check the water. Yeah, it's still plenty of water in there. Close that. Actually, no, let's open that. I will take a single potato. And I am going to install, uh, show you how to install the microwave to make food. And uh, that you need the table, the microwave, and the food. Uh, so you're looking at the potato, you can see the bars amber down here now, orange. That's because it's decaying. Um, it will eventually get to the point where you can't use it anymore. Uh, yeah, other things I've added in the latest update, I believe, are fertilizer for the plants. Um, I need to do a bit more research when I find out what's, what exactly what the changes are. But for now, I'm going to install a table here. So power at the front and network at the front. It'll do. Um, let's make sure I still get my water. Yeah, I'll install the microwave here. To install the microwave, you have it in your hand. You stand by the table. Press Q. That puts it on the table. You then need the wrench on the microwave to install it permanently in the table and you can see it's plugged it in there. Um, don't need the wrench anymore so I can go away. I do need the wire cutters and the wire because I need to wire it in. i just do both connections at the same time. Okay, so that's wired in now. Um, get the tape back in my hand, don't need that. You've got to turn the power onto the bench, open the microwave. Potato is the only thing that will do by themselves. Um, with the potato in your hand, click on it, you see it goes in like a bowl inside the microwave. Close the lid, turn it on, let it spin and do its thing, it'll ping. Open it, and that's it. We now have a potato which we can eat by right clicking. And take this from 22 up to 100% and there's 2% left on the potato. So I'll just stick in my backpack for the moment. Um, turn the table off, don't need it anymore. So yeah, I can still get my water. That's good. In fact, let's just... Do that, keep ourselves hydrated. So that is how you cook food. Um, for corn soup, a tomato soup, you need a can, an empty can, which I have one there, and you need, I think for corn it is five corn cobs and a tin can, stick them in the microwave and it makes corn soup. For the tomato it's ten tomatoes, an empty can in the microwave to make soup. Now there are other re uh, recipes, um, I don't know if I bring them up. Uh, let's see, is there anything on here? Furniture, car, organic f some food, so if you click under here you can see these are various foods. Um, can powdered eggs, bars, things like that. Corn soup, if we click on that. Yeah, one empty cow, oh, ten corn. Oh, that's a packing machine. Apologies. Um, this is part of the new um, food update they've just done. So maybe it's a change, and maybe it's not done in the microwave anymore. Ah. Let's go back with to say about the potato. One potato microwave, okay, that's what we did. Automated oven, one potato, yeah. Click on the can, our corn soup again. Yeah, so it's, it's changed. This has changed since uh, the last update. We used to do this in the uh, microwave, and it was five corn. What about tomato soup? So this is all new stuff, new content that they're um, developers working on. Again, 10 cooked tomato, one empty can. Cooked tomato. How do you get cooked tomatoes? Let's have a look at that. See if it tells us. Cooked tomato. One tomato in a microwave. Turns into a cooked tomato. Okay, so you got to put the mic. Oh, now you've got to put the tomatoes in the microwave to cook them. And then use them in the automated oven or the packing machine. Okay, so this is all changed. This is all new. It's good that the developers doing this uh, and make these changes. Okay, so anyway, that 
baked potato still the same in there. The baked potato will do us for now and just to use that up, I'm quickly going to eat it. There we go. Um, growing light, where was I? Yes, growing light. Before I get sidetracked yet again. So, growing light in my hand. Uh, rotate it and it's on one of these beams I'm installing it. So, power going along that beam so I can pick up the power from over there. So install it there. Um, can I name it from here? Will it let me name it? Grow light one. As a reason I'm naming it. Um, same as what I did with the lights, so we know which ones, uh, which one is which for the um, logic reader, sorry, logic writer, so we can pick the correct one. So I install the growing light. Now I need to wire it in. Cable and wire cutters. And we'll just take a cable straight from here. Oh, I need that. Indeed. Straight. Over. What's it going to be? Roof. Straight, straight, straight. Need to connect the logic up as well. Right, so that's connected up. Um, it's daylight at the moment, so I'm just going to go and turn the light back on quickly. I turn the light on quickly so I can see it working. So I click on the light and it's come on and you can see like the blue glow if I turn my suit lamp off you can see the blue glow here. Um, so we go over here, wheat and favourable lighting conditions. Let's get that out of our hands for a moment. Pick it up. Bring it over and drop it in the light. And there we go, you can see all the plants are there now and they now have, um, there's no uh, error messages against them, no uh, warnings. They're now growing because they're under the growing light. So what I would be doing in the next session or a later session is installing hydroponics trays. Probably there's another growing light here, maybe there's one here, one here, and installing some hydroponics trays down here. They need to connect our water supply, which is over here, which is why I, uh, I originally brought the water in here so we could do all this. Um, and that will allow us to grow a lot more vegetables. At the moment, we're going to grow four things of fruit and vegetables, should I say. Um, I will probably move the uh, oxygen tank out of the way. Did I bash that then, or was that the... Sometimes the wind from this blows this around in here. Um, yeah, I might move the oxygen tank, I'm not quite sure where to yet. Um, I may move it outside somewhere, just to give us a bit more space. Um, yeah. So, grow light. Let's go and wire it in so it only comes on at night, along with our lights up here. Okay, it's probably the best thing to turn my suit light back on, so that's what I'm doing. There's so lights over there. I don't want to put anything on here, so I'll install. This I needed as a logic writer. So it take to get the best cable configuration. Like so. And then just quickly wire this in. Now I need the screwdriver. So the input is our uh, sensor for lights. Sensor lights come down. Input so 
stepping through them. Am I going past it? No, it's not. Sorry. The input is the output from our daylight comparator. So, that's why I need a daylight comparator. There we go, daylight comparator is the input. The output is our growing light, number one. There we go, grow light number one. And the variable is on. If I turn that on, they're out. So now if I come down, you can see when I turn my light off, that light is out. That will now come on at night when um, these lights come on. Obviously you don't need it on during the day because there's enough sun for the plants to grow. Turn my light back on. Turn that off actually. How much power have we got in here? Three bar. Turn that off. Don't need that on. Don't need that on. Don't need that on. I don't really need that on. Yeah, so we now have um, some plants growing, some more plants growing, um, and they will grow during the night, so they'll grow quicker. That's all in glass, that's in glass. Um, what next? I mean, at some point, I keep saying this, I want to enclose this area, um, put a roof on and a wall on and a door. Um, I will swap that with that. Um, how much cabling have I got on me? Five, it's not enough to do at the moment. Unless I put it there and bring the cabling now, it's still not a great deal. Not a space there really either. Um, so I'm just thinking where to move my arc furnace. I want it so outside because it vents gas all the time when it's in use. Actually what I will do is I will uh, better replace my carbon filters. I'm sure I've got a fresh one up here. Don't need the name at the moment, the labeler. So that one's 100%. I think I said this before, always have the one with the least use on the left-hand slot, or in the left-hand slot, because it works from left to right. Yeah, that's wasted, don't need that. I do need to make some more. So, two on. Filters are towards the bottom, I know that. Just go down, CO2 filters. And the five grams, I'll just make probably two or three of these. Let's just swap that one out, put that one in there, sorry. Let's make another spare one. There we go. Just stick it in here for now, stick the new ones up here. The fresh ones up there. It's a fresh one. It's a fresh one. That's a used one. I think these are all used. Yeah. So uh, the reason I'm holding on to these is we can recycle them. Um, there are two additional workstations. There is a um, recycler, which 20 iron. Let's just build that. And then the other one is a centrifuge, and that will basically use a recycler to break things like this down into the component parts, and they come out, actually it comes out as an amalgam of all its parts. You then stick that through a centrifuge, and the centrifuge splits it into its base components, whether that's iron, copper, gold, uh, and you recover some of the materials used. I find it best just to link them directly together, the centrifuge and the um, recycler. And you do that using shoots, which are again manufactured in the order lathe. I believe they're not made here, are they? Shoots, shoots. Oh no, they're made in the um, pipe bend. Okay, that's what well, I don't need for those. Let's make four or five of these. Uh, this is not one of the, those objects where there's multiple 
um, flavours of it. So I will show you. There we go, got that. Don't need to build another one. Let's look for the centrifuge. What does that need? Oh, we have enough to build that. Okay, I'll stick us down here. Um, which side I want to sell on? So I want this on this side. So the goods going on the left, come out on the right. Yeah, stick up there. It needs power. Enough for a moment. How are we doing on that? Off with it. Okay, let's go to power quickly. Let's power to it. Oh, it stopped, man. If I, because I changed the wiring, it stopped that building. It, it's one of the, it does have to bug in the game or what. But if you cut the um, cable network, a lathe is on or a, a workstation is on, they stop producing what they're producing. So let's see if our lights come on. Sun's going down. When they come on, our growing light should come on. So on the moment, oh, there we go, it's coming on now. There we go, and they should be on as well. So that is all working. That's one less thing we've got to worry about. We're now growing plants 24 7. Come on, hurry up. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put centrifuge here. Um, I can get to that. Oh, I might have, uh, yeah, I can still get in there, it's okay. It's nearly done. Yeah, there we go. So, put that away for the moment. Pick that up. Um, is that in line? Does that look in line? i be careful because I'm going to try that there. I think I can go straight from there into... Oh, may not. I may have to move. Let's try it. Uh, wrench, two steel sheets. I've got some steel sheets over here. Sure. Steel sheets. Wrench. Welding torch, two steel sheets. Uh, I'm not going to steel sheets now. Okay. Steels in here, isn't it? Close the handle. Power low. Must be sushis. Those, what do I need? Uh, welding torch, so let's put them that back for a moment. Uh, that's it, and if they're made, I just need to connect the power. That's in, that's out, yeah. And line, can I connect those chutes? Let's see if I can. So the chutes, uh, let me just quickly, as you can see there's a, a straight chute, a corner chute, a junction, a chute bin, chute outlet, chute inlet, and a chute with a window. So I want a chute angle to come out to 90 degrees towards us, so right there, and another one to go the other way. So now what's going to happen is recycle up and put stuff in this side, this chews it up, recycle it, chews it up, spits it out as amalgam, 
into the um, centrifuge and the centrifuge. In fact, you know what, we can stick another have a shoot angle and then a shoot corner junction beam outlet. Let's nice install this here. Well, let us let me install it. The kind of bin. Strange, I'm not sure what's happening there. I don't know why it's not letting me install the. Bin outlet. This one requires support. Okay, it should come out there anyway. Let, let's just try it. Let's connect the power. I think it'll come out there anyway. Best way to find out is do it and see what happens. So, stick these up here. Oh, I'm just going to be Let's pick up a couple of these. on. Just chewing that up. Stick the rest of them in. So that's now spat them out into, you can see that going there. Turn that off. Turn the centrifuge on. And there we go. We have recovered nine grams of iron. And that's it. It's done. It is that quick. So uh, let's turn that off. But that is iron ore, so we stick it into a furnace, we'll have the arc furnace or the other furnace, turn that back into a ingot. So we've actually recovered um, some wasted product. There we go, turn that back off, turn that off, turn that off. We have wheat growing, let's quickly have a quick look in the greenhouse. So what else we can grow? No, oh, take out my backpack. There we go. So what do we get for the wheat? Um, so two wheat. So you plant one, you get two, but it grows fairly quickly. And a pumpkin. You get two pumpkins. You plant one, you get two. So I'm going to plant both those back. Um, let's stick the wheat back in here for now because that's good. Let's pick the beans. I'm just trying to get uh, regenerate all of our. Um, vegetables at this point so that we've got as much life as possible on them. Stick that back in there for now. Tomatoes are good, that's 9.3, that's 23. That's rice, 30, so that's okay. It's 9.3, 26, no eggs yet. 33, canned soup, that's okay. 12 hours, 9.4, 48. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, that is it for today. Um, Thanks once again for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Struggle fly out.